allowing a blocked site. Sometimes a site may be blocked for a user or group of users which you may wish to allow. For this example of a higher education college, student Tobias is doing a study on male popular culture for a project and so has been given verbal permission to view the site playboy.com. Tobias has tried the site but it was blocked. To see a browsing history we can look in reports real-time web filter. To find a particular block, we can search by typing their username, IP address, or by entering the URL of the site they were blocked for. Here we see that Tobias was blocked from viewing Playboy.com because it's categorized as adult sites, pornography, and was blocked by the policy Core Blocked Content. Hovering over the policy reveals the details of the policy, the who is everyone, what is core blocked content, where is everywhere, when is always, and the action is block. In this case, core blocked content is a category group. It contains many other categories including pornography and adult sites. Obviously these are not categories that we want to open up for students globally, and so we'd need to do this as a specific URL. To unblock a specific site URL, it needs to be added to a custom category, which can be found under Guardian, Policy Objects, Categories. The URL could be added to an existing custom category. Here we will create a new one. The first step is to enter an appropriate name. As these are adult students, we will create a category called Student Custom Allowed and use it for any other sites we want to allow for all students. It's possible to enter a comment to help remember the details of the category. To include a URL in the category, type it in the domain slash URL filtering field. Here we will type playboy.com. Entering a site in this format will block or allow everything which contains playboy.com. So it will include everything that is playboy.com, such as the playboy.com forward slash homepage. Click Save and the custom category is created. The next step is to apply the category to policy to ensure the sites within it are blocked or allowed. Filtering policies are managed in Guardian, Web Filter, Manage Policies. To create a new policy, click Create a new policy or go to the Policy Wizard. Step 1 is to define the who, the user or group which the policy will apply to. You can choose to apply the policy to an individual user or selection of users, or to a user group. In this case we'll allow it for all students. The what is the category or category group we want the rule to apply to. Start typing the category name in the search bar to find our new category student custom allowed more quickly. In this case, the rule will be applied everywhere and always. Allow the content and click confirm. Click save and the policy will be implemented. Clicking on the rule allows us to drag and drop it to the position we want in the list. Drag the rule higher above the block policy that contains the content and click save to enable the rule. To ensure the policy has worked, you can go back to the real-time viewer and see the policy in action. The real-time web filter report is under Guardian Real-Time Web Filter. This time when Tobias goes to the URL, some advertising content is blocked, but we see that the site is allowed. Here we can view the new policy of student custom allowed working to allow the site to be browsed. 